Hello and welcome to Vinny's Day Off. I am fascinated with 24-hour ration packs. For one thing, it's the exact amount of food needed to maintain a person doing physical activity outdoors. And this is not just somebody's opinion, but it's the result of a vast amount of research and, and uh, field trials. I also enjoy the history of ration packs and I love to see what different people or, or cultures put in their rations. The French, for instance, will probably include caviar and roast wild boar or something exotic. This ration pack was given to me as a gift from a very good friend. Thank you very much, Tom. And it was sold as an Irish Defence Forces ration pack. The Irish Defence Forces buy their ration packs from the same company that produces the British uh, ration packs. And they have the very same menu. This is probably not a real Irish Defence Forces ration pack. One way we can tell this is it contains only two coffees and two tea bags. Uh, the Irish drink vast quantities of tea and nowadays coffee. And telling an Irish person they would only have two cups of tea for the day would probably end up in a fist fight. However, it has all the items from a number nine British menu and it is pretty much what the Irish forces would use. It's pretty indicative of, of an Irish ration pack. This one has the baked beans and sausage breakfast and was a great favourite with the Irish forces. Uh, eating this will be accompanied by many rude remarks about beans and their effects, uh, which we won't go into. Here is a list of the contents, and I have included item weight and calculated the kilocalories per item. So you can pause and have a look at that if you like. And here is a list of the brew kit. You can pause and have a look at that. Also, this is not the original plastic bag that was, that was in, in the kit. Uh, the chap who gave it to me had a cunning plan for the bag. So who was I to deny him, eh? So I've laid the pack out uh, pretty much as I intend to use it. You have the chicken sausage and beans for breakfast, uh, peanut butter and digestive biscuits, I'll probably eat them in the morning, and a grapefruit drink as well. For trail mix during the day, you have just nuts and just fruit. I intend to mix them and use them as trail mix, and a lemon flavored drink for during the day. For lunch, there's vegetable korma with a raspberry drink and fruit flapjacks. Then for a night time or evening, spicy sausages and potato wedges, a hot chocolate drink, a tutti frutti drink, an apple turnover and a few puree. I tend to have that with the apple turnover. I like hot chocolate at night so I'll have that for last thing at night. My next problem is how should I review this pack? There are many people doing these already. And as a wise man said, there are too many redundant videos on YouTube. This is Vinny's The Off, where we do things in reality, in the field. So what way can we review a 24-hour ration pack? What way? There can be only one. Uh, we have to spend 24 hours outdoors in the field while doing physical activity. This is the only real way we can evaluate these rations. We're leaving at 8 in the morning, guys. Don't be late. Well, it's not quite 8. I was a little bit late getting organised. It's almost 9am and I've arrived here. This is my little shelter that, that I built with my uh, Swiss Army knife. Check that video out if you like. I'm going to sleep here tonight. As you can see, I've been stockpiling some wood. I'm going to stash my backpack and sleeping gear here. And I'm going to continue on with, with a couple of haversacks. We're going to do a bit of exploring today. But first I need to get some breakfast. I usually rise fairly early and the first thing I do is have breakfast so I'm pretty hungry now. So let's get breakfast on the go. I'm not a lover of these hexamine stoves mainly because I find it hexamine difficult to source and if I get it online it makes it more expensive because I have to pay postage but I'm going to use it for this first meal 
because it's indicative of what the Irish Army uses. This is what they use still. Nice smoke. Okay, and also the mess tin. This is the French mess tin. I'm not a lover of these either. Um, I find them a bit shallow and the handle gets hot as well. But we'll use this for the first meal. So we're going to try the matches from the kit. See how these go. It lights pretty well. Burns out a bit fast. Now these hexamine cubes are ancient. So let's hit them with the good old big lighter. It still work. So for breakfast we'll have chicken sausage and beans. So it's chicken sausages and haricot beans and tomato sauce. 300 grams and 411 kilocalories per portion. So we'll get that on the go. Okay, for our drink, it's morning. It's a grapefruit flavor. Drink powder will do us. So for our drink, we need 500 mils of water to mix it. And the directions say to stir and shake. Let's give it a good stir. A good shake. Smells a little bit like sickly sweet grapefruit. Yeah, not not too bad. A little bit sweetish. Quite mild. Just a mild grapefruit flavour. Not too sweet or sugary at all. Refreshing little drink. And this has 176 calories, calorie calories. We're going to get some tea on the go as well, water for tea.
going to use my little homemade alcohol stove. I pretty much favour these for all my outdoor cooking these days. Our resmic tubes are about done, so I'm going to take this up. Kind of looking forward to this now, I tell you. So here we have it. Just tastes like mild beans. This is our spark, of course. The sausages are skinless and they cut very easily. Let's try some sausage and bean. It's all pretty mild tasting, just normal, like normal beans. You would know that the sausage is not your usual pork sausage, but it's quite acceptable. It's a very soft texture, it just kind of melts in your mouth. Let's wash it down with some of our grapefruit drink. This is nice. Not overpowering. It's just like nicely flavoured water. Just a nice flavour without being very strong. Kind of wish there was more of this. Pretty hungry now. What did that taste like? It tasted like more to be honest. Quite nice. I wish there was maybe double the amount. I'm quite hungry at the moment. But that was lovely. Tea time. So we have this Thai Poo tea. I'm going to add some creamer and just ordinary white sugar. That's our tea and sugar, now a little creamer. I like my tea white. I 
that's nice it's just like English breakfast tea different what I'm used to I usually drink lions or, or uh, berries berries is a strong Irish tea it's a nice mild nice flavor tea to wash down the tea I'm going to have this fruit flapjack uh, 224 kilocalories I believe just move this to one side That's our fruit flapjack. It smells it smells rich, a little bit like Christmas cake. That's what it reminds me of. Let's try a bit. This is made from oats and there's um, sultanas and raisins included as well. Again, it's very nice, mild flavor. It's not overly sickly or sweet. It's very acceptable, very nice. It doesn't seem too rich or overpowering either. It's, it's it's a nice uh, foodie if you like uh, kind of a kind of a treat it's not really like a sweet or, or a biscuit if you will it's more like ordinary food sweetened food it's not too sweet or sickly at all quite nice that was a lovely breakfast most acceptable and it, it hit the spot I'm going to finish my tea and get ready to move out. We're about ready to head off exploring. Where I want to go today is to a block of forestry that's outside of my normal range that I haven't been to and I want to go there and explore that. The dense cover I expect to be travelling through today won't suit a backpack. So I've, I've had to bring along these two haversacks. I'm not sure what this is, it's a, it's a gas mask. I'm not sure what army it's belonging to, maybe Dutch. This is an old 1937 uh, pattern small pack. Uh, it's been around a long time, I tell you. I've nailed on some um, a seat belt just for a strap. It's got a, a good big burn here from battery acid. It's a bit raggedy ass, but it does the job. It's perfectly clean-ish. I was thinking of getting a, a nice badge to cover this hole. Maybe like a, a red Indian head like, like some of the um, like some of the young fashionable guys have. But you can make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. So let's head off guys.
we need to head on through that it's some fairly dense um, forestry and brush uh, it's not going to be the best of fun pushing through but it's, it's the quickest way to where we want to go let's move on that was heavy going pushing my way through the woods uh, so I've decided to cheer myself up with a cup of coffee This is the Rambu's instant coffee. Stick pack of coffee. And we'll have some white sugar with it. As I say, I'm not really hungry, I just need cheering up. So there we go, instant coffee. It's a little bitter. Slightly bitter. But um, I'm damn glad of it now. I need a cup of something. Just to cheer myself up, I'm going to have the oat digestive biscuits. And I'm going to put the uh, smooth peanut butter on them. I would normally eat these with bread or maybe crackers, not so much biscuits. But this is the only thing I have to put them on. Let's see how that goes. So they're a tinnish, a tin biscuit. They're a little broken too. Let's just try a bit on its own. It's nice. Again, it's on the plainer side. It's not over sweet. Now, let's try a little peanut butter. Oops, it is. That's for dicing anyway. The peanut butter and uh, the oaty biscuits. Oh, very well together that is lovely very tasty and satisfying when you're out here in the outdoors like this I would never have thought to eat I wouldn't eat these these two items together like this but I must say they go very well I must say this is the life guys It's a lovely day and it's nice to be out and it's nice to be picnicking isn't it nice? Hmm? Do you want another bit? I'm going to eat all my biscuits Good boy I brought food for Dyson as well just in case you think I'm leaving him out he has his own food he likes to nut trees, don't you? Don't you, bud? I'm not sure who produces this um, peanut butter, but it's a very nice peanut butter. Nicer than I get at my local shop, I tell you that. What do you think, guys? Hmm? Right, that guys? Hmm? you do. Well, that certainly hit the spot. We'll pack up and move on. Well we've arrived. Let me just give you a little look around. You can see some of the countryside.
Okay. This block of forestry is the one I want to explore. I've not been in there. As I say, I've not been in there and I'm very interested to have a look around, uh, see if there's much game or see what it's like. It's nice to explore new places. We've covered about a little over five miles just to get here and we're not there yet. So another bit of walking to do. We're just on the outskirts of the, uh, of the strange wood and I found a nice pretty big stand of hazel. I like hazel. We've got a little stream there as well. There's my bags. I cut myself a hazel pole. I should have done that starting off. So this is nice. Now the main forest of course is, is commercial coniferous forest. But further down I did see a fairly big stand of natural forest as well. So we're going to going to have a look at that. So I'm going to spend a couple of hours exploring here and I'll see you guys for lunch. Okay, bye. It's 20 past six in the evening. We're on our way back. Um, let's see what Etrex says. Almost nine miles, so we've, we've another two or three miles to go. But uh, I'm getting a bit peckish, so it's time for lunch. I must say these little matches are not bad. They do burn fairly quickly though. Oops, I spoke too soon, I broke that one. I had to jinx it. We're off, we're working. Oh lordy. Okay, so for lunch it's vegetable korma. Vegetables in a mild and creamy coconut sauce, it says. And that's 345 kilocalories, 300 grams. So let's get this heated up. For our drink this time we have the, the raspberry beverage powder. This one for some reason takes 375 mils instead of 500. That smells lovely. Mm. That smells really really good. It smells a lovely raspberry smell. This might be the best drink so far. This smells lovely, it smells absolutely lovely. Let's try a sip. This is the best drink by far. <coughs> it has a nice, it has a good flavour and has a nice tarty kick to it. The other drink powders were, were very bland and kind of tasteless in comparison to this. This is nice, I like this. We'll see what the karma tastes like, but I'm thinking to add this hot sauce to it as well. Give it a kick. Time for Dyson's rations as well. He's had double the allowance that he usually gets today. And he's not shying back from it either. And grub, and grub Dyson. Dyson's getting tired, are you? Are you tired? Right, take two with the karma, the vegetable karma. My sincere apologies guys, but my battery died earlier. 
it was a major disaster. It, did, it never happened to me before. And believe you me, I was very, very tempted to eat it and tell you what it was like later. But um, I had no choice, only go home and charge my, charge my camera up. So it's a bit later. So this is our karma. I'm going to try this. It doesn't smell great to me. I don't, I don't fancy the smell of it. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm not loving the taste of it either. I'm just trying to think. I think there's celery in it. I hate celery. That's what that's what I think the the smell I don't like is. Right. We'll try the hot sauce. Hopefully this will help it. We'll mix that in. We're back here at camp again, obviously. Right, see what the hot sauce does. The sauce gives it a good hot, hot kick. It's like the hot cayenne sauce. Actually, it does. It improves it greatly. Kind of. I'm not a lover of this. It's edible. If you're hungry, you'd be glad of it. And I am. The midges are out in style. I don't know if you guys can see them. We're quite a swarm around. I have an uh, insect repellent, thankfully. I must say the rations were very filling. With the breakfast, the fruit flapjacks, the mixed nuts and mixed fruit, and the biscuits and peanut butter, I didn't feel hungry at all. I was just getting peckish there at six. But I'm starving now. So they're quite filling. For dessert, we'll have this uh, sesame bar. It's 267 kilocalories. Let's see what this is like. I've slipped into something more comfortable. And seeing as how I lost my other stick pack of coffee, I just have some Kinko instant here as well. This is a sugary looking thing. Let's see what it tastes like. To me, that tastes very gross. It's really, really sugary. Kind of like hardened golden syrup, if you know what I mean. It tastes kind of... Uh, nothing about this tastes good. I can't describe the taste of it. It's kind of like styrofoam, I don't know. Kind of like styrofoam coated in sugar. <coughs> this is a, I have a sweet tooth. I like chocolate. But this is this is sickly sweet. And uh, this is the kind of thing I don't like at all. Wash it down with some coffee. Thank God for the coffee. That's pretty gross. I'm not even going to finish this. Sesame bar. Not a success for me anyway. Very, very sugary and sickly. Too, too, way too sweet for me. Right, I'm going to finish my coffee. We'll get a little fire going. Okay guys, 
We've been enjoying the fire for a while, but now it's time for the final and main course. It's spicy potato wedges and sausage. So let's see what this is like. We have a few drops of rain falling as well. It's not bad. It's not great. The potatoes are what I would describe as wet potatoes. In Ireland we like dry, or as we call them, floury potatoes. These are kind of wet, like those white wet potatoes. That's what it tastes like to me. But it's much nicer than the vegetable korma. Yeah, no, this is not bad at all. Plenty of potatoes as well. For our drink, we have tutti frutti flavour beverage powder. Let's see how that goes. Mm, smells a bit kind of sickly, sugary again. Tutti frutti. It's not too bad. Mild. mild kind of fruity flavour, not too bad at all, <coughs> quite acceptable. We get finished off with the main course, not bad. Not bad when you're hungry outdoors. For our final food we're having the hot, hot chocolate drink mint flavour. You mix this with 500 mils of water, hot water. And here's our hot water. Yeah, we'll give that a good stirring. It smells nice and minty anyway, I can tell you that. I like hot chocolate myself. So with our hot chocolate we're going to have uh, we're going to have this apple turnover. Let's open that and see what it's like. There we go. I hope you can see. Oops, what is this? Do not eat. We won't eat it. Anyway, this is our apple turnover. I hope you can see it. And this is the final, the final item in our, our, um, in our ration pack. Fruit and fun, a few puree. I'm going to have this with the apple turnover. Actually, let's try the apple turnover on its own. If you're expecting apple pie, it's not exactly, this is not it. But it's quite pleasant, it's a little bit dry, but it's, it's sweet and it's flavoursome, and there is a bit of apple in it. Let's try some, let's try some more puree with it. Oopsie. The puree makes it moist and makes it taste more like a, an actual piece of apple pie or definitely improves it. Let's try our mint flavoured hot chocolate. That's grand. That hits the spot now at night time. This is one of the nicer parts of the menu I think. A nice finish off. Now guys, I don't know if you can see the drops falling, but I have I have drops of rain falling. So I'm going to finish up quickly. And I need to get my shelter started, okay? It's pretty late at night. It's almost 1 a.m. And I, I'm fixing to go to bed. As we know, these open-ended shelters 
work very well in YouTube, but not so well in the real world. So what I've done is I've taken the 58 pattern poncho, as you can see, and I've, I've closed off the front of the shelter. There is a strong possibility of rain tonight, so this should see us bone dry. Now I'm going to have to sit up and watch the fire for another while. I'll have to get some water eventually and quench it out because I'm getting pretty tired now. So that's our plan. Good morning guys, I'm ready to go, but Mr. Dyson is still resting, aren't you? So that's my take on the 24 hour ration pack. If you've seen my other videos, you know I got this sleeping bag so Dyson could share it with me. It's a big bag so he could fit in. And he can indeed fit in, but what happens is it gets too hot and he needs to come out and he wants to lie in my chest. So I can't close the bag, so I get cold. So last night, we got him a, a fleece blanket and I wrapped him up in that so he has his own sleeping bag and he, he seems to like it pretty good don't ya? dice don't ya? sleepyhead I hope you enjoyed the review of the ration pack I found that uh, you can be fortunate or unfortunate with those some of it was very nice some of it was quite acceptable some of, <laughs> some of it was not nice I'm not a lover of karma, and you're better off with the uh, with the um, with the drink uh, powder mixes. You're better off having them a little bland rather than having some strong taste that you don't like. Anyway, I'm going to get this fella roused up. Dicey, dice on, dice on, dice. He's like a teenager. He likes his bed. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And thanks very much for watching indeed. Bye bye.